Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and today let's spend some time on the slick, very, very, very slick topic of the 7 inch propellers. Why slick? Because 5 inches really spoiled us. Mm, you, right now, you have shitload of choices. Uh, you can choose DAL, HQ, what's there else, uh, Emacs, Racecrafts, dozens and dozens of options and more or less no matter which kind of the 5 inch propeller you put on the mini quad motor like 2205, 6, 7, 2305, 2306 it will more or less work fine. Sure, there will be problems like uh, lack of trust on the high end and stuff like that but there will, it will work. It will work, it will work, it will work. Why? Because 5 inch propellers and 2205 up to 2306 and so on work great with together. Just great. Enough torque to drive even the heaviest, uh, usually at least, heaviest 5 inch prop and there is no problem. With 7 inch, uh, it's not really that simple because if you will try to use the more common 2205, even low KV motor with 7 inch propeller. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. flight experience will be horrible. Why? Because the motor does not have enough torque to quickly change the rotation speed and the thrust generated by the propeller. So with 7 inch 2205, 2206, no, 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 two small motors, not enough torque, absolutely. 2207 is like the bare minimum for the 7 inches and the fun the fun really begins with 2506 if you have 2506 and 2406 2407 then the fun with the kv of let's say 1700 really begins because then only then the motors have enough enough torque to really give you fun because ah oh, it's such a fun anyhow Today I will show you my small collection of four different 7-inch propellers, or five, maybe even five. I tried over the last almost a year with my slight, op my humble, let's say my humble opinion about each of them and when you can use them and when you rather should not. Okay, so let's begin with something that you should avoid at all costs. This thing. This thing is called the Gemfan 7038. It's a very, 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 very old paddle design that was really made for, I don't know, 3D foamies, not really for multi rotors. Huge area, poor balance, and any, any attempt to really fly this thing is. Um, no, just spare yourself trouble and do not use uh, GameFans 30, no, 7038 on any multi rotors. No, they suck. They suck like rap. If not those GameFans, there is something better. Something better from GameFan is this thing. This thing is called the GameFan Flash 7042 two bladed. This is probably the, the lightest of the 7 inch propellers because it weights uh, only, 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 only how much? Only around 5 grams. And how much the weight of the propeller affects the um, rotation acceleration of the propeller, there is a video in the description that where I describe what does the moment of inertia and stuff like that means in terms of propellers or even 6 grams and why the lighter propeller is better than the heavier propeller. Like I said, this is probably the entry, entry level uh, for the prop. This is the only light enough propeller that can be used on 2206 motors because everything heavier than this just makes no sense and you will notice characteristical bobbing because 
the motor cannot speed, change the rotation speed fast enough. So they are light, they have very nice response, enough thrust, and they make incredible grizzling sound when you push them. It's like... Rawr! I'm not sure if I have uh, anywhere the video, or maybe I have video with this sound. It's really amazing, like the V8 flying. Unfortunately, that means that they are rather poorly balanced and because they are so light and not the best balance, they require a special tuning. You have to keep your D gains on GameFast game 7042 low, around, I would say, 20. If you go above 20, they will start to vibrate and you will like have a lot of vibration problems. But if the D gains are kept low, everything should be fine. Still, if you have a powerful motor like 2506 or 2406, something like bigger than the 22 or 23 size, you should try something else. Something else is currently my propeller of choice and it's called Cyclone T7056C. They are heavy. They are heavy and they have high pitch. Uh, the, well, the scale, the disconnect. They are heavy because this is 8-9 grams and you can really forget about running them on weak motors. But if you have big motors, they can be smooth. Really, they are pretty smooth propellers for cruising, so my cruiser is using them. But also thanks to relatively high pitch, because this is 5.6 inches of the pitch, they really can deliver a lot of speed and a lot of thrust and a lot of fun. Well, my Freestyle 7 incher is using those propellers on the 2207 1700 kV and it's really 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 great also quite quite tough they bend easily but can be again uh, made straight and like i said this is my propeller of choice seven inch propeller of choice currently not maybe the perfect propeller but it's really a good propeller if you have enough of motor to spin it Dals. Okay, we had game fans, we have Dals. It's time to move into the HQs. HQs. This. This is 7 by 3.5 V1S. One of the easiest available HQs around. This is, this is really a heavy propeller. 7 grams, so it's only slightly lighter than the game fan. <laughs> I, I was using those propellers first at the 2206 and unfortunately 2206 is already not big enough for those props. On 2306, 2307 or everything above it should be probably fine. Um, they are rather, uh, let's say, slow propeller because they, because they have only three and a half inches of pitch so they are not very fast. Uh, but this also means they have relatively low drag and are designed rather for cruising if you have enough motor to use them. I'm currently rather not flying them. I will try to make another attempt to like them or not like them in the near future on my cruiser, but still probably I will stick with the 
Cyclones 756 because probably they are slightly better. Less pitch, kind of, let's say, similar shape, uh, but they come only in black. If, if this is too heavy and you don't want to use dulls, there is something like this. This thing is called HQ. 7 by, I never remember, 7 by 4.5, so more pitch than this one, V1S. Very, very, very similar shape of the blades, it's almost identical. Only two blades, so it's lighter. This thing already turned off. If we put it on the scale, it's 6 grams, so it's only slightly heavier than the Genfan Flash, lighter than everything else. And uh, I tried them for a few times. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I prefer those dulls. Mm, they have, for me, they have a problem of being really, really, really hard to get in Europe. I found only like two or three places that have them, at least had them when I got them. And they were only in the green color. I'm sorry, but I don't want to have a green prop. Black. Sure, fine. No propeller. No problem. Not proper, proper, transparent, even better because then it's less visible in the in the video feed, so it's fine. But green, why the heck do I want to have a green propeller on my cruiser? No, I rather not. So um, some say they are great, fantastic, best seven-inch propellers ever. Um, they never really like shook my world. Is that a phrase in English? Okay, never mind. So, maybe. I will definitely try to give them a, a chance. Maybe they will be better than this one. If only they were like easy, easy, easy to get in Europe. Ah, a nightmare. Really a nightmare with those HQ, HQ props. Okie dokie. Um, so, prop of choice. This one, if you have enough big enough motor and I mean big with the sheer size 2506 or bigger than this one if anything lighter then consider this one or just just try just try just try but try but for smaller 22 this one and for bigger this one yeah flash or dull because they are probably the best okie dokie so that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye.